Well, hey, Gundam Maniacs, welcome to another episode of Gundam Explained. For today's episode, we're checking out the next episode of Witch from Mercury, episode 14, What They Wish For. Uh, it's kind of nice getting back into the routine of waking up on Sunday and uh, checking out some Witch from Mercury. Hey, but a special thing going on here, thanks to Bandai Namco Entertainment America, I'll be giving away uh, a Gundam Aerial High Grade Kit. Yeah, just... Uh, be sure to comment on this video about anything. Let me know what you like about this episode or Witch from Mercury in general. Um, and then, yeah, later on, I will choose from the comments and pick a winner. All right, before we dive into the episode, if you haven't, please subscribe. And if you think this is a cool video, give it a like. Also, check the links in the description for ways you could support the channel. And even join our Discord. We have a lot of fun there, but let's get started. Okay, from some of the mystery we left off with last time with that Quiet Zero, we're picking up Right now with it, we're thinking, what is it, a colony laser? Is it a mobile armor of some type? Uh, but I think we get more into that. All right, so this part of the story, right away. This is what a lot of Gundam fans like, or at least me. This is like the exposition. They're diving into the story. We're getting some more explanations from Saleta's mom of what the Gundam is, of what is going on here, of uh, what the plans are. And, you know, Quiet Zero happens to be part of what allows the aerial to do what it does. And it, it seems like Delling was part of that, as well as Salida's mom. So it seems like there was always a plan in place for something. Um, actually, it almost uh, gave me more questions than actually answers. An interesting exchange because, you know, as Salida's mom's explaining, you know, having Salida go to the school, using the aerial, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, Mjorn is like, I knew it, you're using Saleta. So it's it's just interesting how we're getting to the point now where Mjorn is confronting Saleta's mom, but then Saleta's like spilling, or Saleta's mom is spilling all the exposition, explaining what the Gundam is. Nika should be central to the plot moving forward here, especially considering what happened before. We even have the Earthians kind of sitting there talking, selling goat's milk. She should have just told us she had an accident working on the ferric. So even they don't still have the full picture of what's going on here. So the secrecy is still not a good thing. Salida and Nika are just kind of hanging out talking, but not even really facing each other's direction. Kind of weird. But it seems like, yeah, Nika is feeling that emotional turmoil of what she has been going through or having the school go through. Um, Salida is still not fully in on what's going on, even when it comes to Sophie and Noria. It was cool to see some background information on Nika, like how she always dreamed to go to school. Um, we kind of see her in a, what looks like fingerless gloves and a hoodie, almost like kind of that Earthian look down on Earth. So it's cool that she's kind of in that similar space with Saleta and giving her some more of uh, those, uh, I guess the backstory to really feel bad for her because she did not mean for all of this to happen that did happen, and she doesn't know what to do about it. And then that creepy Elon guy shows up again. I still don't understand what's going on. Like, this seemed like it was going to be a big, huge deal because, like, he had this double. He put his face on some... I don't know what's going... But his, his storyline still seems to just be right under the surface, yet I feel like something big is going to come from him. It's interesting how they have this exchange, you know, those earthy and transfer students in Elon, like... Are they working together? Are they being forced to work together? Because it seems like they don't like each other, but they talk to each other enough where there seems to be some sort of relationship there. Funny exchange with Sophie and Saleta. It's it's interesting because they're making Sophie kind of this crazy character. Just uh, And when I say crazy, I just mean interesting. It's adding layers to kind of what we're used to so far, but then it's kind of building up uh, you know, the interaction between them two, because then what's going to happen once they're, like, pitted against each other in mobile suits? And then she's like, if I kill Mjorne, can I once again see you like you were before? Like, what? That's crazy. And, like, I get it. I know Saleta is supposed to be taller uh, than most girls in the Gundam series, but uh, there's a huge height disparity even between the two. Just looking at them right there, right? All right, and it looks like a duel is starting, kind of that uh, Royal Rumble thing. I know there's a name for it, right? Okay, cool. Getting to see some mobile suits loaded into action. Okay, and even um, Lauda's going out into battle for this. I guess they say anyone could participate. We'll crush the Mercurian wench who humiliated us and my brother. So he's he's going in for real. 
And so I guess uh, the president, or uh, I guess uh, who is acting on behalf of Mr. Delling, Sirius Zanelli, they're showing like he's uh, appearing to watch the duel. Okay, cool shot here seeing uh, a few of these mobile suits rolling out. I really like the differences and how they look. We have more of like a, a gun tank type, flight type, and then just a badass ground looking mofo. I don't know. These are really cool looking suits, actually. Okay, so <clears throat> the battle's ensuing. It's pretty cool. Uh, Chichu's -Chi's referring to her suit as the Demi Train. It looks like she's got this big ass chain gun, which is pretty awesome. Um, but then, you know, Lana's going up against uh, Saleta in her rebuilt aerial, uh, but then all of a sudden, the additional Gundam show up out of nowhere. So now it's like, okay, then has this just become high risk? Or is there now going to be some deaths involved? <laughs> cool shot here where uh, that uh, enemy Gundam uh, from Earth just like smashed its chain gun right into uh, Lada's suit. Um, really cool animation, but okay, it looks like something serious is going down here. Okay, and then it cuts to Nika on the phone saying she has a confession to make. And I think this is when Saleta realizes that Sophie is in that Gundam mobile suit that just appeared. Okay, and it seems these Gundams that appeared that we've been seeing before, they're shooting uh, at the the barrier around where the, the, the duels happen. And it seems like it's actually causing real damage to it because it's actually real active fire. So, yeah, the stakes have risen here. And then we get a death. We get a death during a duel from a Gundam. And this is while people are watching. So I, I really like this idea that for most people, they're just watching this duel. Oh, these other mobile suits show up. Oh, someone actually dies. Oh, this is for real. You know, that's kind of a cool shock that others are witnessing. All right. And then, you know, these Gundams activate their powers and kind of some red giant back v uh opens up okay something really cool is showing up here look at this i'm getting super you know straight up gundam vibes coming from this a little bit of zeta um a little bit of core gundam but it just i like what's going on here so it's like mass produced gundams and they have a name another good shot at the uh gundvolva yeah Ah, circling around, getting some After War vibes. Okay, so that's pretty cool. I kind of like what's going on. We have one of those enemy Earth Gundams. They've activated their super abilities. And then apparently there's these AI-controlled bits that are Gundams themselves. I kind of like this. So yeah, they're called Gunvolvas. I, I don't know. I don't know about that name. But I gotta say, this design is sick. This is definitely uh, something you want to army build. All right, and so at this point, they realize something's going on that shouldn't be happening. They got to get the president to safety. And then there we go. Something key that we see in other Gundam series. We got the explosion right through the colony wall. Um, this is where that you know that destruction uh, comes from, where the you know the stakes are high, the risks are high. Just a cool shot. If if I'm not mistaken, the Demi Trainer that's out right now, Choo Choo's, didn't come with a chain gun. This is new, right? Does that mean there's going to be another one, another release? Because I love this setup. I really like this line from Elon. He's, I changed my face just to stay alive. There's no way I'm dying in vain. I like how literal that is to what's going on. But really, I, I'm just as confused about this Elon character his purpose, where he's going, is that a misdirect? Is there something larger at play here? And then Shadik sent people out to go get um, the active president, current president, but I'm actually curious, or his dad, but I'm curious of, you know, is this a nefarious thing that is occurring um, where amidst this chaos, which he is a part of occurring, that he's yeah trying to do something with his dad? I'm curious about that. Okay, another cool shot at this gun vulva. Um, man, really good design. Awesome. You pilot that tool of murder for her. So these are some words that got Saleta at first, but, uh, then the aerial activates its crazy mode. Um, this is where we're going to learn more about that quiet zero and what it actually really means. So we're getting some more story, uh, some things that people have been 
kind of assuming could be happening, speculating on, and that is that uh, Eric uh, Samaya, if that's how you pronounce it, the baby from the prologue who we thought could potentially be Saleta, is not Saleta. That is a sister. And that, I guess, something had happened because she is Ariel. So that is uh, something that we've all been kind of predicting could be the case here, but the fact they're saying it is both crazy and I like where this is going. Yeah, so Slut is just pretty much shutting down the unit, so I guess that could be one thing to do with this technology is it's just shutting them down. But they got to a point where they're activating the permit score to such a point where it could be killing the pilots anyway. Okay, and this is where Earth House kind of gets caught up in all this stuff. Nika kind of, uh, you know, she's getting detained as a terrorist, and that could happen to the rest of Earth House. You know, even though for a second there, Scylla is like questioning her motives. Uh, at the end, she's like, we saved the school, we saved Murine, Nika, as far as she knows, um, and that Ariel helped her. So it almost puts Saleta back in that place where she feels very confident in what she's doing. All right, there we have it. So that was an exciting episode the, for in terms of where the story of Witch Mercury is going, and we're now going to where for sure uh, the school aspect, the dueling. I mean, first of all, there's an attack on the plant in the first place. Uh, now we have during a duel... These Gundams break in and kill someone, and there was even a battle in space. Really curious what's going to happen in this next episode. You know, it's it's interesting. We saw very little from Miorene, but we know, though, from this episode, she's now more in the know. But also, as the viewers, us finding out that Ariel is uh, the baby from the prologue, and that that was not just a younger Saleta, that is uh, cool to get confirmation of. So interesting to see where the story is going. I will say my favorite part was seeing the Gundvolva, even though, or Gundam Volva, Gundvolva, weird name, weird name, whatever that was, um, but other than that, that's just a sick suit, that is really cool, that's definitely a kit I'm going to be getting. So anyway, like I mentioned before, if you're interested in winning this uh, high-grade Gundam Aerial kit, just uh, comment below, make sure you like the video, and make sure you subscribe to the channel, and I'll be announcing that uh, a little later. But yeah, let me know what else you think about the episode in the comments below, um, or we can discuss it on the Discord as well. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. We'll talk later.